When Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead in John chapter 11, it's a very climactic point in his ministry. It's right outside Jerusalem, right before the biggest holiday of Passover. Uh, it's at the end of his ministry, and it's his greatest miracle. It's everything coming to a head. It's boiling over, and he raises someone from the dead who'd been dead for several days out of their tomb. So very climactic point in uh, the story. Later, uh, uh, several days later, Jesus would be uh, killed himself and, and raised from the dead. But before he goes, he raises one of his closest friends, and that is Lazarus. Uh, and you might remember from the story that, you know, Mary had sent a, um, a f messenger to Jesus telling him that Lazarus was sick, and Jesus waited. He didn't he could have came to Lazarus sooner before he died, but he waited. And when he got to Martha and Mary, that's, you know, they were upset at him because he did wait and they thought, you know, it was uh, past the point of no return and Lazarus was uh, uh, dead. But uh, Jesus, again, saved the best for last and, and rose his, uh, brought his friend from the dead. What most people don't know is, is kind of the rest of the story. It's not in the Bible. You have to go into the Catholic traditions and the lives of the saints. So what I want to do is I want to tell you what happened. It's uh, this, The story after this is one of the greatest miracles as well after Jesus has already ascended into heaven. So in 47 AD, the Jews are still persecuting the Christians and that would, you know, that would go on until uh, the Romans come in and take over and uh, destroy Jerusalem in 70 AD. Uh, even after that, they're still persecuting them, but, but not nowhere near the extent um, as they are before the revolt in, in uh, 66. Anyway, the Jews are persecuting the Christians, and as you know, our first martyr would be Stephen. That's in Acts of the Apostles. But they don't want to make martyrs out of them. Martyrs aren't working. Uh, the the religion is is catching on qu quicker than they can believe, and it, it's uh, spreading like wildfire. So martyrs isn't working. Uh, Stephen being stoned, that didn't work. What they want to do is they want to silently get rid of some of the characters in the stories. And again, this is before the Gospels are written. 47 AD, what they believe around 47 AD, you know, they don't, uh, most people believe Mark being the first gospel written uh, right around 70 AD. So this is, you know, you're a ways before any gospels are written, but they're already telling stories of this Lazarus being risen, risen from the dead orally and, and around the uh, dinner table. So they want to get rid of him and they want to get rid of him silently as well as with Mary Magdalene and, and Martha and some others. Um, one, another one they uh, captured was Sidonius, who's the blind man in John chapter 9. They get, they get him, uh, and they got some of the disciples that uh, Jesus sent out when he sent out 72 and 2 by 2. Anyway, 47 AD, they capture all these people. To get rid of them silently, brush them under the rug, they put them on a boat. And the boat doesn't have any oars, doesn't have a sail, doesn't have a rudder, and it doesn't have any food. And they're hope is just push these people out into the Mediterranean Sea they'll wander out there they'll eventually starve and you know they'll wash up on some shore and uh, no one's gonna know who they are and basically get rid of them uh, silently no one's no one's gonna hear from them again and Lazarus again was you you he's one you probably want to get rid of here's a dead guy walking around claiming to be uh, you know a Christian who was risen from the dead. That's a story you, you probably want to get rid of if you're a Jew. Unfortunately for the Jews, this boat that they sent out did not uh, wander uh, off into the Mediterranean uh, and eventually kill everyone on board. It did wander the Mediterranean, but it ended up in southern France. You see here on this map, I've put a big red dot in your uh, left corner of this map. So the boat, without any sails or rudder or food, wandered thousands of miles to end up at the southern border of France in a town called uh, Marsali. And when these people washed up on the shore, uh, it is said that the people of Marsal 
were converted from paganism to Christianity because this was such a miracle. These people were in perfect health uh, and they had no food and had been at sea for, uh, for months. So one miracle uh, was shown there and the people were con converted into Christianity. On top of that, Lazarus became the bishop uh, of Marsal, and he is actually buried there with Mary Magdalene, uh, with Martha, uh, as was with uh, several other disciples. You can see, uh, they do have their relics there in Mar Marsal. Uh, you can see their bones. So, very fascinating story that you don't, that isn't in the Bible, but it's a, a miracle that went on, and you have to go into the traditions of the saints and the lives of the saints in order to find uh, what happened to Lazarus and his, his companions. So uh, I hope you like this story. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you're interested more in the lives of the saints or in Catholicism, I urge you to go, I urge you to, go to my website, bulletproofcatholic.com. I have a, uh, a couple of courses on Udemy uh, going over Catholicism and the foundations of it. Uh, you can find those on bulletproof, uh, bulletproofcatholic.com. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one.